Dive deep into the shadows of Sudbury, Ontario as we explore the chilling corridors of Burwash Prison. Established in 1913, this fortress was originally conceived as a reformatory, aiming to reshape wayward souls through discipline and labor. However, Burwash quickly morphed into a symbol of dread, notorious for its severe conditions and the harsh treatment of its inmates. Tales of ghostly sightings and eerie noises began to weave themselves into the fabric of its dark history. What started as a beacon of reform soon spiraled into an abyss of despair. Behind these walls, stories of hardship and brutality echo through time. Here, within the confines of Burwash Prison, the air still whispers tales of those who once dwelled within its imposing barriers. The daily life of an inmate was marked not by rehabilitation, but by relentless toil and harsh conditions that tested the limits of human endurance. Imagine waking before dawn, the cold seeping into your bones as you prepare for another long day. The inmates were subjected to grueling labor from breaking stones to constructing roads, their efforts aimed at reforming their character. But the reality was far grimmer. Meals were sparse, often just bread and water, and the living quarters were overcrowded and infested with vermin. The harsh Canadian winters showed no mercy, chilling them to the core as they worked without adequate clothing or protection. Historical records and anecdotes from those who lived through it paint a vivid picture of despair. One former inmate recalled, the walls didn't just keep us in, they kept hope out. Guards, often brutal, wielded their power with impunity, and the slightest infraction could lead to severe punishment. The isolation was suffocating, the silence of the snow-covered landscape outside a stark contrast to the screams that sometimes pierced the night. Riots and uprisings occasionally erupted, desperate acts by men who had nothing left to lose. In one such violent outbreak in the 1940s, the inmates took control of a section of the prison, their cries for justice echoing off the cold, unyielding walls. As the hope of rehabilitation faded, Burwash became synonymous with suffering. But as the sun sets, a different chapter of Burwash's story unfolds. One whispered in hushed tones. As night cloaks the sky, the abandoned corridors of Burwash prison come alive with tales from beyond the grave. Here the air thickens with the echoes of the past, as if the walls themselves breathe the secrets of those long gone. Paranormal investigators, drawn by stories of spectral figures, wander these halls armed with cameras and EVP recorders, eager to capture proof of the unexplained. They report shadows that flit through the darkness and voices that whisper through the silence, voices that should not exist. These eerie recordings often reveal pleas and angry shouts abruptly cut off as though the speakers are forever trapped within their final moments. Visitors speak of cold spots, sudden drops in temperature that chill to the bone, and the unnerving sensation of being watched by unseen eyes. These spectral tales paint a haunting picture of unrest among those who never left. Among the despair, the human spirit's desire for freedom never waned. At Burwash Prison, the chilling winds weren't the only things that whispered through the corridors. Hope, too, found its way, manifesting in the numerous, daring escape attempts by those confined within its walls. These stories, steeped in desperation and courage, paint a vivid picture of the human yearning for liberty. One such tale recounts a young inmate, known only as Elliot, who ingeniously mimicked a guard's keys using scraps found in the metal shop. His escape, though fleeting, ended just beyond the outer fences, where he was recaptured under the cold gaze of the watchtower. The consequences were severe, adding to the oppressive air that many believe still haunts the place. Another attempt involved a coordinated effort that saw three inmates disappear into the night. While they evaded immediate capture, the escapees were eventually found, their spirits broken, the dream of freedom unfulfilled. Each failed escape added another layer of tragedy to the legend of Burwash. Now abandoned, Burwash prison stands as a crumbling relic of its tumultuous past. Once teeming with the ambitions of reform and the harsh realities of confinement, it now rests quietly, its barred windows and weathered walls echoing stories long forgotten. Today, Burwash holds a new kind of allure, attracting historians keen on piecing together its complex narrative, paranormal enthusiasts drawn by whispers of spectral inhabitants, and urban explorers eager to tread through its silent corridors. The prison's legacy intertwines with the fabric of Sudbury, influencing local lore and contributing to a rich, albeit eerie, cultural tapestry. 
As a heritage site, it serves as a poignant reminder of past penal philosophies and the human cost intertwined with them. Community members and visitors often ponder the shadows of yesteryear that linger in the air, fueling both curiosity and contemplation. A monument to both reform and regret, Burwash waits silently, holding its breath and its secrets. As we step out from the shadows of Burwash, we carry with us stories of darkness and light. Burwash Prison, a formidable institution, was born out of a vision for rehabilitation. Yet ironically, it evolved into a theater of despair and harsh discipline. Over the years, the walls of this now silent guardian have witnessed untold suffering and fleeting moments of hope among its inmates. The legacy of Burosh is not just in its historical architecture or its role in penal history, it's also in the echoes of the unexplained. Reports of spectral figures, eerie voices and chilling presences have given it a permanent residence in the realm of the paranormal. These tales, whether myth or reality, underscore the intense human experiences that permeated its cells. Reflecting on Burwash invites us to consider the ways we interact with places marked by suffering. It challenges us to remember and respect the past and to ensure that the lessons it teaches about dignity, justice and human rights Built are not in 1913 forgotten. with noble intentions of rehabilitation, Burwash Prison quickly devolved into a chamber of horrors, a place where the innocent and guilty alike were subjected to unspeakable cruelty. Originally intended as a correctional facility that would reform its inmates through work and moral education, the reality of Burwash was far from its idealistic beginnings. As we explore the dank, narrow corridors and the remnants of isolation cells, the heavy air seems to pulse with the silent screams of the tormented souls who once resided here. The walls, peeling with layers of paint, seem to narrate stories of despair and relentless suffering. Not merely confined to physical torment, psychological manipulation was also rife, leaving prisoners to grapple with their sanity amidst the oppressive atmosphere. Throughout its operational years, several attempts at reform were made, all of which fell short of making any significant impact on the lives of those imprisoned. The guards, often selected with minimal scrutiny, wielded unchecked power, adding to the lawlessness that pervaded the premises. Reports of brutality, unauthorized punishments and even mysterious disappearances were commonplace, yet investigations led to few convictions or changes in administration. The closure of Burwash in 1975 came as a relief to many, but the dark legacy it left behind continues to haunt the region. Today, as a historical site, it serves as a somber of the pitfalls of a penal system devoid of genuine oversight and humanity. Our journey through Burwash Prison not only uncovers the chilling tales of its past, but also invites us to reflect on modern methods of incarceration and rehabilitation. Are we repeating the same mistakes, or have we learned from the horrors that once lurked within these walls? Burwash was a symbol of injustice and suffering, a dark stain on the fabric of Sudbury's history. The nightmares of Burwash still haunt my dreams. The pain and suffering inflicted upon us were beyond comprehension. As the years passed, the whispers of paranormal activity within Burwash grew louder, tales of ghostly apparitions and unexplained phenomena seeping into the fabric of Sudbury's folklore. My grandmother used to tell stories of strange lights flickering in the windows of Burwash late at night. She swore she heard the cries of the tormented souls trapped within. The locals avoided the area, believing it was cursed by the spirits of those who had suffered there. Legend has it that Burwash was once a vibrant community, buzzing with life and hope. However, a series of tragic events turned it into a place of despair. The first incident was a mysterious fire that consumed half the settlement, leaving behind only charred remnants and unclaimed shadows. Following this, a sickness swept through the remaining population, claiming many lives and leaving the survivors in a perpetual state of mourning. As the community dwindled, those who remained reported eerie occurrences, voices echoing through the empty halls, cold gusts of wind in closed rooms, and shadows moving in the corner of their eyes. Despite the fear, a few curious souls ventured into Burwash, drawn by the thrill of the unknown or the desire to debunk the tales. Most came back unnerved, whispering of an oppressive atmosphere and a feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. Researchers and paranormal investigators have since tried to unravel the mysteries of Burwash. They've set up equipment only to have it inexplicably malfunction, recorded strange anomalies in photos and videos, and documented fluctuations in temperature and electromagnetic fields. 
Some have experienced intense emotional disturbances, sudden sadness or fear so overwhelming it forced them to leave. Despite these investigations, the truth behind the hauntings remains elusive, buried deep within the ruins of Burwash. The community's tragic past, combined with the relentless folklore, continues to fuel the legend, making it a magnet for those fascinated by the paranormal. There's something inherently eerie about Burwash. It's like the air itself is heavy with the weight of its past. But what have the spirits said to inhabit these decaying halls? Are they simply figments of imagination? Or is there truth to the tales of hauntings that have plagued Burwash for decades? As we step cautiously through the eerie, dilapidated corridors, the echoes of the past seem to reverberate off the crumbling bricks and the rusted cell bars. Each shadow and unexplained noise sends a chill down our spines, suggesting we are not alone. Throughout the years, numerous visitors and former guards have reported encounters that defy explanation. Some speak of sudden gusts of icy air enveloping them. Despite the any drafts, others tell of whispers that seem to come from the very walls, carrying messages of despair from the long-deceased inmates who once called this desolate place their home. Our team's own experiences tonight add credence to these disturbing accounts. We've encountered inexplicable cold spots and captured EVPs, electronic voice phenomena of desperate voices pleading for release, voices that crackle through our audio equipment, strained and seemingly from another time. Each recording is analysed, the eerie pleas and hushed conversations forming a chilling narrative of life and death within these walls. The energy within Burwash is unlike anything I've ever felt. It is palpable, almost a physical presence that envelops you as you walk through the main cell block and into the solitary confinement wing. It's as if the pain and suffering of the past still linger, refusing to be forgotten. The stories of Burwash are not just confined to ghost tales. Historical records show a grim past of overcrowding, harsh conditions and unresolved conflicts. These elements intertwine with the paranormal claims, painting a full picture of a place marked by tragedy and unrest. Perhaps these spirits are remnants of the unresolved, tethered to the ruins of their earthly confines. So, as we stand on the threshold of Burwash Prison, we're left with more questions than answers. Is it merely a crumbling relic of a bygone era, or is there something more sinister lurking within its walls?